Now, our work in the field has demonstrated to us that people do not always have access to clean syringes, and that sometimes they will have to reuse syringes that have been previously used. We've run a series of experiments in the laboratory that are informed by what we've observed in the real world. And what we've learned from these experiments is we can take steps that will result in lower transmission of HIV, hepatitis C, hepatitis B. We tested a wide range of substances and found that the most effective was full strength chlorine bleach. We compared that to soap solutions, to alcohol solutions, and bleach was the most effective one. We tested uh, 153 syringes and only one of them retained virus after uh, disinfection with full strength bleach. That's a more than a 99% reduction. And as our laboratory results have shown, the best way to do this is a single wash with water, a wash with bleach, a wash with water. Uh, you do not need to shake the syringe, you do not need to let the bleach sit in the syringe for any period of time. Just the time it takes to load the bleach into the syringe and expel it again is sufficient time to kill the virus in more than 99% of the syringes we've ever tested. The best we could achieve with soaps or alcohols or rinse with water was about an 85% reduction. So bleach is the most effective tool to use. It's not perfect, but let's not let the perfect be the enemy of the good under circumstances where you do not have access to a clean syringe and you do not know the status of the syringe that you're going to use. It is best to just do this simple three-step bleaching uh, procedure.